Here's a short command line a beginner's tip on wildcards in Unix. Wildcards allow you to select multiple files that match some basic pattern. Understanding that makes your command line life more efficient and happier. The following will work on Unix-based systems such as Macs and Linux machines. Let's begin by opening up our terminal. As you should know, we can enter the list command, ls, to display the files and folders located in the current directory. Here are the contents of this folder. There are some images, some plain text files, and some PowerPoint slideshows. The first wildcard we're going to use is the asterisk. The asterisk takes the places of one or more characters. So the command ls star dot jpeg will display all files with names ending in dot jpeg. The command lsf star will display all files that begin with f. Using the list command with argument f star dot txt will give you files that begin with f and end with dot txt. You get the idea. In contrast to the asterisk, the question mark wildcard takes the place of only one character. File question mark dot txt will match file a.txt, file 1.txt, etc. It will not match file 12.txt since there are two characters in the number 12, a 1 and a 2, between file and.txt. We can use square brackets to match one of several different characters. Typing pick and then 1, 3, and 8 in square brackets and then .jpg will match pick 1, pick 3, and pick 8. Once we have that trick down, we can combine the wildcards together to make patterns. If we type rp in square brackets and then an asterisk, it will return any file starting with r or p. There are special ways to match ranges of characters. 0-9 in square brackets matches any single digit number. Capital A dash capital Z matches any uppercase letter. Lowercase A dash lowercase Z matches any of the lowercase letters predictably. Finally capital A to lowercase z matches any single letter, regardless of case. You can include an exclamation point inside the brackets to do a reverse match. Putting an exclamation point in front of the 0-9 will match any character that is not a digit. An exclamation point followed by the letter P in square brackets will match all characters except P, so this returns anything that doesn't start with P. Finally, use curly brackets to search for entire strings, not just one character. The strings are separated by commas. I can find any JPEG that starts with the word file or pick and ends with .jpg with this command. That about covers the use of wildcards in Unix. Pattern matching can greatly speed up tasks that involve sorting through files, so wildcards are a good tool to have in your repertoire. Hopefully this video makes your work a bit quicker.